Hello everyone and welcome to another Ember Power video. This time, I know it's been a while, but um, it's been a while without a mic, I'll say that much. But um, today I just thought I would ease things back into the system with a look at the pretty much forgotten, but still moderately strong and expanded Gyarados. So Gyarados has the attack Distill Blast, which says, reveal the top seven cards of your deck. This attack does 30 more damage times the amount of water energy you find there, and then you shuffle those water energy cards back into your deck, but you have to discard the other cards, which can be a major pain, but also, as we'll see with the deck profile, is actually quite a good point of the deck, and obviously we want to get it so we hit 240 damage every turn, sorry. So, Distill Blast, 30 damage, reveal the top 7, then we do 30 more damage times the amount of energy. How we do this is that we play an extortionate amount of water energy. We play 37 of these bad boys, so that's a lot of energy. And then what we have to do after that is just kind of chain four Gyarados, and then we should be able to win with about four or five roughly Gyarados. But the problem is you'll end up prizing Gyarados, you'll end up discarding Gyarados, so we have to have a battle plan. So we play Rescue Stretcher, which can either simply put a Gyarados from a discard pile into our hand, or shuffle three Gyarados from a discard pile into our deck, or in combination of Magikarp. And then we have Crash Awake, which can search out the pieces. So really what you want to do is open with a Magikarp or Vulpix, and then we want to find a way of getting Vulpix into the active spot, and then without wasting an energy, use Beacon, which says search your deck for up to two Pokemon and put them in your hand. So assuming if you've been able to play an Elms Lecture this turn, so search your deck for three basic Pokemon, you can kind of see where I'm going with this. So if you open with Vulpix, then everything's cool. You can just Beacon for Pokemon, or you can Elms Lecture, get some Magikarps out, and then Crash Awake next turn for the Gyarados, or Beacon for two Gyarados, or Beacon for a Gyarados and a Magikarp. You sort of just mix everything up how you want it to be. And then of course we have Ditto over here, who just can evolve into Gyarados. He's essentially just a fifth Magikarp, and he's the key reason why this deck is so good and expanded. And it's also the reason we don't play Green Search. I think Green Search is just a worse version of Crash Awake in this deck, because Crash Awake is just miles better in my opinion. But all the deck really wants to do is use its supporters wisely. So Elm's Lecture, turn one ideally, and then we use Crash Awake and just get everything else out of the deck. And then through the use of Distill Blast, you should discard what you don't need. So excess Vulpix, excess Helm's Lectures, because this is only really good after turn one. Like in theory, if you have a lot of Gyarados to work with, but no Magikarp, you could use Rescue Stretcher, shuffle in three Magikarps, and then Fresh Realms Lecture for three Magikarps. What I've found is that you want to Crash Awake into something, add another Crash Awake, and then Crash Awake, Crash Awake, until you have no more in the deck. And then by that point, You've probably won because you'll have all your Pokemon in play. You'll have all your items in your hand. You only, we only play three items in the deck. Um, this is probably the only deck I've ever played that's only been playing three items. And the only deck I've ever played that plays 37 Water Energy. I've played Guzzlord, but that played like 31 or something. So yeah, it's, it's pretty wild. It's a pretty fun deck. And um, yeah, I hope you all enjoy playing it. 